Hey guys, welcome back to New Set of Snipes, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And today I'm going to be doing a review on The Joker. Joker is directed by Todd Phillips, stars Joaquin Phoenix and Robert De Niro, to name a few. But uh, this movie did, took, you know, it really took me by surprise, honestly. It's, um, it's not your average typical superhero movie, because, well, it's not a superhero movie. And you are going to be going in thinking that this is a superhero comic book movie, you'd probably be disappointed. But if you would go in and see this movie thinking that it's a psych psychological thriller, fun time, dramatic movie, you'll have a great time. Honestly, those comic book tropes and whatever qualities of a, of a film like that is completely thrown out the window when you see this movie. It's nothing like I've ever seen before. First off, let's talk about Joaquin Phoenix. He delivers an amazing performance as the Joker. He's not my favorite Joker, and honestly, I didn't think we really needed a Joker film, but we got one anyways. And on top of that, this movie has a lot of familiar you know, aspects to it. And what I mean by that is that this movie is produced by Martin Scorsese, who's well-known famously for directing movies like Taxi Driver, who stars Robert De Niro, and who's also coincidentally in this film as well. This movie is pretty good. It starts off pretty slow and rocky in the very beginning, but we kind of get to know the main character of Arthur Fleck, who is the alias of Joker in this case, in this film. Now, to me, I think the Joker having an alias, I've always kind of had a bit of a problem with that. I actually like the mysterious quality of the Joker where he doesn't have an alias, because if you know the Joker really well in the comics, his origin's practically unknown. I mean, he, he's had a few origin stories where like he was the original Red Hood, he was a stand-up comedic failure, at, of sorts and all those qualities well a, lot, a few of those qualities are actually brought into the film so he was a stand-up comic in this film just like he was in the comic books and he was a failure just like he was in the comic books but the red hood origin story is not thrown in there so all we got is pretty much him being a stand-up oh like a wannabe stand-up comic trying to be funny and he's a failure and we get to actually experience and kind of grow with this character feel his pain feel his anger and understand why he does the things that he does we're not necessarily rooting for the character. At the beginning, you really do feel sorry for him because of everything he goes through. You know, he gets beaten up by people. He gets ridiculed by people, you know, and you feel really sorry for the guy and you understand where his anger is coming from. You know, he, this guy is basically on tons of medication. He's dealing with a lot of issues. He's basically given a lot of revelations about who he is and about his past. And there was this one revelation that kind of bothered me for a little bit. And I was like, oh, God, I hope that's not true. And then it turned out it wasn't true. And if you've seen this movie, you would know what that revelation is. I'm not going to spoil it for you. This is a spoiler-free review, by the way. And I was like, oh, thank God. Okay, that wasn't the case anymore. Okay, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this movie is totally different. It's not canon to the DC universe, the DCEU universe in this case. It's not connected in any to any of those films. It does take place in the past, specifically in the late 70s, early 80s era. And I don't know why they decided to put it in that era, but whatever. I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, this isn't your exactly typical Joker type of character where like, he has a specific like kind of voice to him. He just is a regular guy who just practically goes insane. Because everything he experiences and he, he, the way like he sees the world and, and how he sees his life going about, he kind of views it as a... Uh, how would you put it? Um, a comedy in this case. Because the Joker character, in essence, is a force of chaos. And he just sees everything as one big joke. And that's pretty much like the moral of this film. It, it, he views it as like a comedy. And that's why he just doesn't care anymore. You know, he, he quits his job that he has. Well, not gets, he doesn't quit. He gets fired from his job that he had in this film. And he um, learns about other things and he tackles on these situations, you know, these revelations in his own way, if you can use your imagination and how the Joker would tackle these things, then you would know. And you just see him reach his breaking point and he reaches that limit and he just goes crazy and he cuts loose. But overall, the, the performances, the acting from all the characters, from all the actors and actresses in this film were fantastic, especially Joaquin Phoenix, who's the standout character. Um, you, I really liked this character. Uh, Juan Key Phoenix really delivered an amazing performance, especially physically and emotionally and psychologically. Um, the dude lost like 52 pounds to do this role. 
he quickly, thank God, he gained back that weight <laughs> because he did not look healthy whatsoever. But I figured he wanted to really portray the character as best as possible. And I, we can say that he's a really well-known method actor at this point because the Joker character himself is a very lanky, skinny, tall character. And I think he captured that quality of that character physically. And psychologically, I'm pretty sure he went pretty crazy to try to capture that um, um, psychological aspect of the character of the Joker, as we know of him in the comics and in the shows. What the hell was that? But anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. That was my review for the Joker. I'm going to go ahead and give the Joker a B+. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Please stay tuned for more videos. I got some anime reviews coming up. I'm going to be reviewing Demon Slayer, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Diamond is Unbreakable, um, some other comic book news throughout the week, of course, and more. So please uh, be sure to stay tuned for more. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. As always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.